If you're 19 or 20 years old and you're watching this video, you're probably like, this dude's just an old fart, doesn't even know what he's talking about. Let me tell you what, dude, I was your age. I could go for 16 hours a day, go on four hours of sleep, wake up the next day and go for 18 hours. Like, I get it, I used to be that dude. But let me tell you what, one day you're gonna be 37 years old like me. Man, if you're doing lawn care work, you need to take care of yourself. Make it a priority or you will not have staying power in this industry. In this video, I'm gonna share with you some things and some products that help me get through a really long, hard season. The first thing is eyes and ears. I cannot believe the amount of guys I see uh, on mowers or weed eating without without eye protection. Like, that's, that's crazy to me that they do that. But one thing that you may skip here and there is your hearing protection. And look, man, um, I, I've got family that has hearing aids. They, they can't hear without, you know, the aid of those devices. So, so I just want to tell you, like, look, it happens. You're going to have hearing loss if you're running mowers and weed eaters and you're not protecting your hearing. Like, hearing damage starts happening around 90 decibels and we know how loud those mowers are. You don't have to get big earmuffs or you don't even have to do the AirPod Pros with the noise canceling and all that stuff. I use uh, AirPod Pros and they have the noise canceling and stuff. But usually about, you know, after a few hours of listening to music or, or podcast or whatever, I just slip in some, some cheap uh, foam inserts in my ear. There's just the little 3M things you roll up and put in your ear. I don't like those big earmuffs on my head. They just, they, for, for our area, that stuff, it just gets way too hot to have that on your head. Like hundred of pack of them for like 15 bucks. Like, get them, man. Protect your hearing and make that a priority. Number two is, is wear long sleeves. You know, we've just recently started doing that because I started looking at some of my family that have like had skin cancer problems. They've had, you know, burned up arms and, and spots. They're just having to get treated right now. It's like, you know what? And you may think it's hot to wear long sleeves, but it's, it's not. There's nothing as hot as sunburned skin. And if you're sunburning your skin, like you're gonna just, your whole body's gonna feel hot. Guys, you would be shocked at how much cooler wearing long sleeves uh, makes you feel during the day. To that point, a wide brim hat. Um, this is what I've been wearing recently. This right here. It's a stiff one. You don't want one that's all floppy, like a, like a boonie hat that has like a little tiny brim around it. No, that does absolutely no good. Get yourself a wide brim hat that is very stiff, okay? If you're casting shade on your shoulders, it's about 10 degrees cooler, man. Just It just feels so much better. I realize a baseball cap looks cool, looks great. It does absolutely nothing um, when it comes to burning up the sides of your face, um, the back of your neck, and, and your ears. Like, look at people that wear ball caps their whole life, man. Their face and their their neck and their the back of their ears are just, look like leathered up, just look like horse meat. Like, don't do that, man. Take care of yourself, get a wide brim hat, and, and protect yourself from the sun. The next, and this may be a little controversial, but you need to probably be wearing pants. Like, we, I wore shirts, shorts my first year in, in the business, and uh, I thought it was gonna be cooler, you know, to wear shorts and it'd feel better. No, it, it's actually not, man. There's nothing as miserable as using an edger or a weed eater and throwing rocks into your shins. Like, don't do that. Just wear some good jeans, you know, or some, some good work pants. Um, and, and, and a good pair of quality boots. I'm amazed at the dudes that I see you walking around in like little tennis shoes or something. It's like, do you not like cut grass in the morning? Like, your feet get soaking wet. Don't do that. Get yourself a good quality pair of shoes. And your boots, frankly, need to be the most expensive thing that you're wearing during the day. And it really shouldn't even be close. I'll be honest, man. I don't think you need to be spending less than $120 or $130 on a pair of boots. Um, I'm usually closer to the $200 mark now on boots that I wear just because it makes that big of a difference in the way you feel. You would be absolutely shocked at how your uh, lower back and, and your hips and, and everything feels whenever you go from, from trash workwear and trash boots to a, to a quality pair that supports you and protects your feet. I really want to encourage you invest in a good pair of quality work boots. Next is a uh, dust mask. And, and man, if, if you are mowing whenever it hasn't rained for a while and it is just like a dust cloud sometimes, you don't want that stuff going into your lungs, you know? And even if it's not like a bona fide 3N mask or something, 
just get one of those face shields or a bandana that you can pull up and, and just tuck around your face to just get you through that yard that's terrible. Because look, man, if you're if you're stopping mowing at the end of the day and you're you're like hacking up like you've been smoking all day long, like dude, that's not good for your lungs. It makes you feel and and on top of that, allergies. Like if you're sitting there just constantly having to pound pills and allergies, and you're not like making it a point to have a dust mask or have some type of dust protection around your face, like. <laughs> You need to do that like you don't just take medicine like actually try to protect what's causing your flare-ups you know so make sure you have some type of system to keep dust out of your lungs on those yards that are really bad all right guys I get a yearly physical myself I've been doing that for the last few years and um, it's been really interesting because I'm able to track um, how I've either improved or declined um, with with lab work you know how my kidneys are functioning my testosterone levels all that stuff and you need to start tracking that stuff man because you can identify problems and really you can start optimizing your health now well here's what the doctor told me the doctor said John your kidneys though you appear to be very healthy he said your kidneys are only functioning at about 90% of what they should be and he said you'll never get that 10% back and that like kind of just that really weighed heavy on me i'm like dude like i pound water i'm like i stay hydrated like i feel like i'm hydrated he's like you're still not drinking enough he said you are sweating too much your kidneys are working too hard and he said once they're damaged you never get that you never get that capacity back so he said again they're only functioning at 90 percent of what they should be and that just kind of stuck out to me man i was like holy cow so here's here's what he told me and I'm not a medical professional. Go talk to your doctor, man. But here's what he said. He said, water is not good enough during the day, okay? Um, it, it, you are flushing all your electrolytes out as you are sweating. And, and it is extremely humid here in my market, okay? He said, you need to be drinking Pedialyte. And you need to be drinking Gatorlite. And you need to try to be drinking a, as much sugar-free drinks as possible that have electrolytes. So he said, stay away from Gatorade. He said, if you're going to do Gatorade, um, get get the Gatorade Zeros or something that has no sugar. But he said, even better than that is Gator Light and Pedialyte coupled with water. He said, do not do one um, exclusive of the other. He said, do both water and then Pedialyte and Gator and Gator Light. Do both of those, all three of those. And he said that will replenish your electrolytes, keep you hydrated. He also said, and I knew this, but he said your hydration starts the night before you start working. He said you don't wake up in the morning and get hydrated and go to work. He said once you stop your day, and this stuck out, he said once you stop your day, that's when your hydration starts for the next day. He said you get off work, he said you go home, you rest your body, he said you start drinking electrolytes, you cool yourself down and just start just start rehydrating, gearing up for the next day. During the course of my work day, I have found that um, I don't like eating a, a lunch, like a big lunch. I don't do the whole sit down meal thing. I've never done that actually. Um, I eat a pretty small breakfast, but I do snack during the day. My favorite snacks are number one, high carbohydrate stuff. I like these things called ready clean bars. You can get them at Walmart. They're pretty high in protein. They give me good energy. Um, I leave them in the console in my truck. They don't melt. They hold together really well. They're like a granola bar. That's one snack that I like to keep on hand. The other thing is cold fruit. Again, I'm not interested in going to sit down and, and eating, you know, a pile of chicken tenders or some Sonny's barbecue in the middle of it. I'm not doing that, dude. Like, I want a freezing cold orange, some kiwi slices, some mango, a banana or something, and chugging water and Gator Light. I want to keep going. And finally, whenever you get in for the evening and you want to have yourself a good meal, man, I'm, I'm, I know that everybody, you know, your own person, you eat whatever the heck you want. But look, I just want to encourage you, man, try and just keep that nasty food out of your body dude like this this work is too hard to be eating like trash like yeah you can get a lot of calories by going and pounding fried chicken and mashed potatoes and i know y'all are like leave my mashed potatoes alone i love mashed potatoes my mom makes the best mashed potatoes fried okra and fried pork chops in the world period but the thing is, is like i can't do that anymore dude and you shouldn't be doing it either whenever we get home we probably need to be eating lean proteins that's something that's clean um some good carbohydrate stuff some stuff that's going to give us fuel for the next day that we're not going to wake up 
and feel like absolute trash. And I know I'm fixing to crush toes with this one, but you shouldn't be drinking alcohol either. Look, I love a cold beer as much as anybody at the end of a work week, um, but there's just study after study after study that say it's absolutely terrible for your sleep. It's absolutely terrible for how you feel the next day. It's absolutely terrible for your hydration. Like, there's literally nothing good that comes of it other than having a good time. So if you're gonna, you know, have yourself a cold one, like, look, man, wait till the end of the week and, uh, you know, pop a top on Friday evening and give yourself a little bit of the weekend to recover. But uh, I would encourage you, man, try and, try and wean yourself off of alcohol as much as possible. If you're 19 or 20 years old and you're watching this video, you're probably like, this dude's just an old fart, doesn't even know what he's talking about. Let me tell you what, dude, I was your age. I could go for 16 hours a day, go on four hours of sleep, wake up the next day and go for 18 hours. Like, I get it. I used to be that dude. But let me tell you what, one day you're gonna be 37 years old like me. And then guess what? You're not gonna be able to do those things. You're gonna be thinking about, huh, maybe I should be taking care of my body a little bit better. And then you can come reference this video and I'm gonna say, I told you so.